Hi, my name is Casey and I work for Healthy Schools Oklahoma led by the Bethany Children's Health Center. Today, you are going to learn how food groups fuel our bodies and be able to name examples of foods from all the food groups. This lesson is called Healthy Foods and Healthy Plate. Let's get started. Can you name the five food groups? More importantly, do you know why it is important to eat all five food groups? Hopefully, by the end of this, you will know the answers to both questions and how to make a healthy plate. Let's start with why we should eat all five food groups. Each food group has different nutrients that can help your body. When you include all five food groups, you are eating what's called a balanced meal. That means you are eating a meal that will give your body the nutrients and vitamins to be healthy. Let's go through the five food groups. The first one we are going to talk about is dairy. Foods in the dairy category, like milk and cheese, are typically high in calcium. Calcium helps our bones stay strong. If you are in a grocery store, you may notice dairy products are typically found in the refrigerator section. You will see cheese, milk, and yogurts. The next food group we will talk about is protein. Foods high in protein, such as meat and nuts, help us build and maintain strong muscles. Proteins include eggs, nuts, and meats. If you are eating chicken at your meal, you're eating protein. The third food group we are going to cover is vegetables. Food in the vegetable group give us fiber and vitamins and help all parts of our body stay healthy. Carrots, broccoli, lettuce, and mushrooms are a few examples. The fourth food group we are going to cover is fruits. Foods in the fruit group give us vitamins that help us fight infection and keep our skin healthy. Fruits contain vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Bananas, apples, berries, and grapes are a few examples of fruit. Lastly, we will talk about grains. Foods in the grain group provide fuel our body needs to let us move and play. Grains are the largest food group. They are high in carbohydrates that quickly turn to energy and include foods such as pasta, bread, and rice. For an added health bonus, try whole grains to enjoy the benefits of energy and fiber. Where do you eat most of your meals? Is it at a school, your home, or a restaurant? Think about some ways you can include all five food groups. You can replace a sugary drink with milk or choose apples instead of french fries. When you are eating the five food groups, you also need to think about sometimes foods and everyday foods. Sometimes foods means exactly what it sounds like. It means you should eat these foods on occasion, but not every day. Sometimes foods include pizza, fries, chocolate milk, and excess sugary drinks. These foods also typically contain unhealthy fats, lots of sugar, or limited amounts of vitamins and fiber. Then you have everyday foods. These are healthy foods that are good to eat every day. Everyday foods include fruits, vegetables, low-fat milk, lean meats, and wheat bread. These typically contain healthy fats, protein, fiber, or vitamins to keep you strong and healthy. Fruits and vegetables are everyday foods, and if you have a choice, it's important to choose a variety of colors. If we are eating different colored fruit and vegetables, we are consuming different vitamins. Those with deeper colors are rich in vitamin A to keep our eyes and skin healthy. Examples are carrots, sweet potato, apricots, cantaloupe, spinach, and collards. Vitamin C helps keep our gums and our teeth healthy and heals cuts and wounds. Good choices for this are oranges, tangerines, grapefruit, kiwi, and strawberries. What is the better combination to get a lot of vitamins? Bananas, corn, and squash, or strawberries, broccoli, and carrots? If you said strawberries, broccoli, and carrots, you're correct. Next time you can choose what to eat, try to include more than one color on your plate. You should try to aim for one and a half cups of fruit and two and a half cups of vegetables a day. Just remember, food is fuel and it is important that we feed ourselves the healthiest fuel we can to give us energy and help us feel good. 
That means eating a variety of fruits and vegetables and including all five food groups to make a balanced plate. Repeat after me. I can explain the importance of eating a variety of foods from different food groups. What are you going to eat at your next meal?